Hello everyone. Welcome to Thyra's Web Development Tips and Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about the CSS property Object Fit and see how useful it is when it comes to sizing and placement of images on the web page. Consider this example. Let's say you design a section on page like this for a travel website. You have three or more blocks next to each other with the same size image and some text below. But your client gives you photos that are of different sizes, like these. Some landscape, some portrait. Cropping each image to the required dimension manually works if there are about 10 to 15 images. But what will you do when there are hundreds of them? Let's see what we can do. Let us first add the three images as it is. Travel 1, Travel 2, Travel 3. Look at the output. As expected, the whole design gets distorted if we add the images as they are. But what if we set a fixed height? Like height 240 pixels. Now, the first and third images look almost fine because they are of similar aspect ratio. But what about the second image? It's fully compressed. This is where we can use the CSS property object fit. This property is used to resize an image or a video to fit its container based on various values. So add object fit here. As you can see, it takes in all these values, contain, cover, fill, none, and so on. I'll demonstrate what each value does, but in our case, what we need is cover. Now look at the output. It's perfect. This is what we need. You can see that the whole image is not visible, but the image adjusts itself to cover the width and height mentioned. It works similar to having a div element and setting a background image to that div with background size set to cover. Let's explore the other values of object fit. Right click on the image and inspect element. And here, change the value to contain. This value makes the whole of the image visible within the size. The value fill gives us the same output we had before using object fit. And the value none displays the image in its original size. So let's change it back to cover. Now, there's one more property that could be used along with object fit, that is object position. This again works similar to background position, which determines the position of the image with respect to the container. It takes one or two values for horizontal and vertical positioning. The default value is center, same as center, center. Here, you could make it right top. So you see that the right part of the image is visible. And when you make it top, the top part of the image is visible or center bottom, do you see the changes? Or something like center 25% and so on. I hope you find these two CSS properties useful in your projects. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.